what is going on everyone so I have been planning to do a video like this for I want to say a few months now and a couple weeks ago at a Comic Con uh, Josh Pence and uh, Toy Bills said that they would really like to see a video of the autographs I have collected over the years so uh, yeah I'm here in the floor got that little background right there to do this so I got a binder I just bought to put all my autographs in because they were on the wall so let's go ahead and get started here so the first autograph is of course Tamara Morrison which plays uh, Django Fett in Attack of the Clones uh, this autograph right here was from uh, the private signing with Echo Base Media. See, we have Echo Base's little certificate right there. And then we have that. And then with Echo Base Media, I also got Tamara Morrison signing uh, Commander Cody. So it was definitely two autographs I really wanted. I know it's by the same person, but uh, this one right here, the Django, that's probably my uh, favorite autograph that I have. And of course, that one has the sign in there. And another one that we have from Echo Base is Tom Wee. And I think her name is uh, Renee Owen. Clone Love, Renee Owen, Tanwi. So yeah, Tanwi was also in uh, Attack of the Clones. And now we move on to uh, Daniel Logan. We met him, I don't want to say a few years ago in Cincinnati. Uh, definitely a story right there. But uh, we got two autographs from him. I definitely got the Clone War style. One right here. And my wife got the actual movie one of him holding Django's helmet. And it said, don't lose your beautiful head. But yeah, um, at the convention, I was told he had a hung hangover. And he, he was just uh, crazy. He was like, oh, I bet you guys are uh, a lot of fun to drink with. Stuff like that. A lot of stories you hear about Daniel Logan at those conventions. Alright, so now we have Jeremy Bullock, who played Boba Fett in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. He was also the pilot at the end of uh, Revenge of the Sith. So we met him in Tennessee. I think this is one of my first Star Wars guests I met. And me and my wife was excited to meet him. At the convention also was uh, Billy D. Williams. Which, I got his autograph, but I cannot find it. So I definitely got Billy D's. Uh, my wife drew some fan art, and he gave this uh, free signature on a card to us, which is really nice of him. And it sucks that he don't do uh, U.S. appearances anymore, so that's definitely a keeper. Now, in Cincinnati, we met Dave Prowse, which also stop doing US appearances because of his health but uh, I grabbed the best looking Darth Vader one I could he didn't really talk much and at the same convention of Billy D. Williams and uh, Jeremy this was uh, the voice of Admiral Akbar. now his name is Eric something and uh, he wrote down it's a trap on here this was his first ever signing at a convention and he, he was a really really old man super nice he he was having a uh, absolute blast signing and meeting the fans and uh he passed away a couple years later after he did i want to say the force awakens so yeah definitely a keeper and yeah, we met Carrie Fisher a few weeks or months before she passed away. 
uh, we met her in uh, Cincinnati. So yeah, no, yeah, we met her in Louisville. Another one that we met in Cincinnati was Peter Mayhew, who just passed away, unfortunately. He really loved the fans. Carrie really loved the fans. Like uh, Carrie Fisher right here. Uh, she was singing to us when she was signing. She had uh, her dog right there on the table. Gary. Gary. And uh, Peter, he, he didn't say much to us. He was there all day. Uh, you could tell by his signature. It's not... They don't really look like his signature. It's just a bunch of scribbles. But he was uh, really tired. But all the stories I heard, he's really great with his fans. Alright, another one that we got in Louisville is Ray Park as Darth Maul. Ray uh, was super nice. He wanted to have me and my wife in a picture with him, free of charge, which was really nice of him because the convention charged, charged for photos. Okay, another one that we got at the same convention was Sam Whitweir. Now this was uh, when he first started uh, on the Clone Wars, and I printed this picture out. I showed him this picture right here of him choking Bo-Katan. He looked at the picture, looked at me, looked at the picture, looked to me, and it was like, dude, that is so wrong. I love it. So yeah, Sam, he was uh, really funny. He talked to us uh, about more than five minutes. No one was in his line. Super nice guy. I would love to meet him again. All right, here's uh, another autograph that we got uh, two years ago, I think, in Cincinnati. Uh, the guy who played Dak in Empire Strikes Back. He talked to us uh, quite a while, actually. Really nice. And uh, here is a Daisy Ridley autograph right here. I wanted to do a private signing with Tops because I know it will be 100% authentic. I got this at a autograph store across the seas, which has a certificate of authenticity. It had a picture of her signing this photo. But I mean, I would rather have one official official. Now, this autograph right here we picked up at Jim City Comic Con. Uh, we got it from Toy Bill. So, thank you so much Toy Bills again for this Adam Driver autograph. I mean, this is definitely one of my favorite parts in the movie of him and Ray fighting on Starkiller Base. Now, this is a authentic autograph from Tops. So, I'm really happy to have that. All right, in Cincinnati, we met Jason Isaacs, who was uh, Lucius Malfoy. We also got his autograph as the Grand Inquisitor on a pop figure, which is somewhere. Then we got Ralph Phineas autograph as Lord Voldemort. This came from a, uh, a place in uh, London. It tells you what day it was signed, the year, and it had even had a picture of him signing this exact picture. And it's not a copy. Alright, this one right here we met in Fanboy Expo in Louisville? Yeah. But it's uh, the actor who played Tron, which I had him sign a Rensselaer picture because he was the voice of Rensselaer for Tron Legacy. So I definitely wanted to get a Tron Legacy picture signed by him. And he, he really loved uh, the print that we had. He wanted to get some of these uh, sort of prints. Now this right here, it was a free autograph in Cincinnati. So we got the young voice of uh, Anna. Yeah. yeah, Anna. And then we got this at a anime convention right here, which is... Ellen McLean, who did the voice of GLaDOS from Portal. She was really nice. And then here we have Doug Jones that was in uh, Hellboy. I met him at a Fanboy Expo, the same one as Sam, 
uh, Peter Mayhew, I bought tickets for his autograph and he canceled. So, um, they wouldn't give me my money back. So, they told me to pick someone on their list and get their autograph. So, I ch chose Doug. Now, here is uh, a Hobbit autograph from uh, Radagas. A really funny, odd guy. He loved uh, telling stories. And this guy right here, John Reese davies who played Gimli in all three Lord of the Rings movies, he was probably one of the nicest actors that we have met. He, wa he wanted to know what kind of work we were in. Like, he just wanted to know about your life. And no other actor has done that. He was probably, he, he is super nice. And uh, next uh, we met uh, Billy Boyd, who played Pippin. Got his autograph. Uh, yeah, he uh, also wanted pictures with us in the convention charge, but he didn't care. Same with this guy. Uh, he was in uh, Two Towers. And Fellowship of the Ring. Um, crap, I used to know his name. I don't know it right now, I used to. But a uh, super nice guy. He was uh, not behind the booth. He was like Ray Park and was out with the fans talking to you. And uh, that's it with the autographs. Like I said, I am missing Billy D. Williams and uh, one of the Stormtroopers from the original trilogy. So these pictures right here are ones that I want to get signed when we meet the actors which is Ahsoka we have Ahsoka we have Alea Sakura and I know um, Amy Adams she does am I saying that right? crap forget her name too um, Mel Melons to get sent to her agency Amy Allen that's it we got a Grievous. Get that signed by Matthew Wood. Another Grievous. Coyote Mundy or, of course, Tamara Morrison. And then we have Bo Katan and Pre Vissela. Savage and Bo. Another Bo. Another Bo. Same what we're in Bo. Which I would like to get this one signed right here by both of them. And I want to get this one definitely signed by Bo. As you, yeah, uh, we are big, big, big Bo Katan fans, guys. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it's uh, turned out longer than what I thought, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button and please subscribe.